Good afternoon to all the dignitaries, teachers and my dear students. Before we start this event, I wish you all a happy National Science Day. This day is a tribute which is given to those people who has contributed for the discoveries, inventions and their creativeness in the field of science. Science is not at all limited and one thing I want to share with the students is science starts, though it is physics, you learn as chemistry, any field, any branch, it starts with your observation. Observe your surroundings and every child becomes a scientist. So I wish you all the best here. Respected principal sir, uh, Kiran sir, all my colleagues and my dear students, uh, we spend a splendid uh, noon to each and everyone. Today we have gathered here to celebrate uh, National Science Day. Good afternoon teachers and my dear friends. Myself Arohi from grade 3, my school name is Kakati Olympiad School. Today our topic is about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, the process by which plants make their own food is known as photosynthesis. In this process, plants take carbon dioxide from air and water from soil. In the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, plants convert carbon dioxide and water into food and oxygen. By photosynthesis, plants make their own food. That food is eaten by human beings and animals. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone, myself Roma and I am studying in 5th standard. Today I am going to explain about transparent, translucent and opaque objects. Transparent object, an object that allows light to pass through is called transparent object. See, you are able to see my hand, so it is an example of transparent object. Translucent object, objects that allows medium light to pass through is called translucent object. You can see only some my you can see only some so it is called translucent object opaque object an object that doesn't allow light to pass through is called opaque object see you are unable to see my hand so it is an example of opaque objects thank you uh, terrestrial plants and animals means those are living and growing in the land they are they are called terrestrial plants and animals like example grass dog cat now we are moving into desert plants and animals. Uh, desert plants and animals means uh, those are living in the hot area. They are called desert plants and animals. Mm -hmm. 